Hey guys, Bitter Steel here, back with another video, and today, well, today we're taking a look at what has to be one of the worst disaster saves ever sent in to me, so let's hop right in. The Soviet Union, 1941. Now, the Soviet Union, to start with, can be difficult if you're not uh, very well versed in the game. Standing up to the German assault can be quite the pickle, and this one was sent in by Crazy Turtle, who writes, I took out Romania and Turkey but forgot about doctrines, ouch, and now Mega Bulgaria and the German Reich are taking over, as well as OP Japan for some reason, so you, you can see this this here being a problem already, they, they're at the Dnieper, uh, the, the, the Stalin line, the Dnieper line, I, I, is this the Dnieper? I, I keep forgetting, anyway they're already at the big river you're supposed to hold, uh, I see pockets, that's gonna suck. Yeah, Turkey's lost, or well, almost lost. I don't, I don't see Japan doing anything. So let's let's hop right in and see just how bad things really are. Uh, okay, first off, what the hell is with your defensive line? What? what? Why is your army here and there? What? You've got a non-aggression pact with Japan, and you're playing historical. Japan will not attack you unless you start the war. So pull all of these guys back to the west. You're gonna need them. Uh, you've managed to lose Turkey. I yeah, that's. Uh, you can hold Turkey easily by just setting a couple of units on this tile under Istanbul and and just shoring up the south here. This is really defensible terrain, but something obviously went wrong here. And you're not even defending the main defensive position of any Soviet Union player. This river line from Latvia all the way down to Crimea, this is the linchpin of any Soviet defense. This is what you defend and then you have the Smolensk Vitebsk gate here. This is the weak spot, allegedly. Uh, this is gonna be a challenge, mostly because You've got a good couple divisions encircled, so those are lost. And your entire army is miles away from the front line. Like, you don't set up a defensive line behind your industry and victory points. You defend before the enemy takes that. Oh, well, okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix that. All right. Um, let's look at temp. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Uh, yeah. This is bad. I, I think you're out of equipment. You're almost a hundred thousand gun. What? 29,000 artillery? Okay, I need to see those. Oh no. Oh no, my friend, what are you doing? This isn't even an acceptable template. I, I gotta fix this before it hurts. It hurts my eyes. It just hurts my eyes. There, 20 combat with standard infantry, and I'll add some engineers. Uh, we don't have support equipment though. I'll fix that later. Uh, and you have some tanks. Oh, please, no. 18 combat with tanks. And they're light tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna beef these up to 40 with. I don't like using light tanks, especially in 1941, but I have a feeling that these are all you have. Uh, so until we can stabilize this front, it's it's gonna be light tanks. It's gonna have to be light tanks. Uh, save that and update. Okay. Um, you even have some cavalry. You still have NKVD divisions. That's not great. Okay, I'll need to do a complete reorganization of your army. Um, I'm going to try and set up a defensive line along the river line. Uh, this is going to be a problem though, but I might have enough time to deploy these units. Just force deploy them along this river to the south, closest to the enemy front. Maybe do some last stands to hold the line until the actual army arrives. We do have time in the north. That should be fine. Uh, I'm going to force deploy these guys and then merge them into something that resembles a fully equipped division, though we are going to be short a lot. Lot of equipment. Uh, Turkey's a lost cause. Maybe I can. Mm, it's not possible to release Turkey. Mm, that was to be expected. Um, maybe I can withdraw to the Caucasus, actual Caucasus region. So give up all Turkish lands and then release Armenia and Georgia as independent countries. There's only, let's see, uh, one mil and two civs, and two civs, two mil. So I'd be giving up four civilian factories, three military factories, and resources. What resources would I be giving away? Nothing. Okay, so I think I wanna close that Caucasus front as quickly as possible by just um, releasing those two countries as independent nations. I can always retake them later. I just need to get these guys back to my own territory or to the port here. 
here and we should be good as far as the navy is concerned yeah not much to write home about uh all i'm gonna use the navy for is setting them to strike force along our shoreline just so the enemy doesn't naval invade or at least allowing us to slow down enemy naval invasions if, if any happen and again the far east does not matter in the slightest so i'm gonna send all these guys over to the other fleet so i will do some major military reorganization i'll have to do that off screen because it's incredibly boring i'll show you quickly what i mean by um quickly cobbling together a defensive line to the south here what i'm gonna do is force deploy these units like uh these two are now force deployed they are both under strength i'm going to merge them into a division that is a sort of at fighting strength that's what i'm gonna do with all of those units in the queue uh just going to get rid of them and anything that is not at least um close to 10 percent i'm going to just remove from the queue so that equipment goes to the troops in the field uh research oh nuclear really i don't need nuclear reactors you you've not done any re oh okay so you want to do mechanical computing and upwards this increases your research speed very important <sighs> Your industry is behind as well. That's bad. I'll need industry first. Pocket defense. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Um, you've got no doctrines and the ones that you have researched aren't great. Okay, I'm going to exploit mass assault for as long as I can to force everything that is close to 10% in the queue out. After that's done, I am going to get rid of pocket um, mass assault and go with grand battle doctrine for that extra entrenchment speed and maximum entrenchment. We are going to need that to hold on to dear life against the axis. Uh, I'll start a little bit of research on the assembly line, I guess. And then once everything has been deployed, I'll switch one of these over to um, Grand Battle Plan. I'll probably let Excavation 2 work its way out. Uh, okay, you've got 878 political power, so let's let's start spending some of that. You can you can definitely go to total mobilization. Uh, you can definitely go to free trade. Why are you on service by requirement with almost 11 million men? in reserve let's let's just bump that down to uh extensive should we go to extensive mm, probably extensive there we go right uh women in the workforce that's gonna help four bonds that's gonna help anything else in here yeah order 227s can help as well um army <sighs> none of this is really it's really great no oh no you haven't done positive heroism no uh fine it's fine ideally you want to go positive heroism it tends to be um the best choice it's too late now so we'll, we'll have to make do with what we've got i'm gonna finish transformation of nature it's just one day and then i'm gonna switch over to construction engineering i think i don't think any of these focuses are worth it right now our immediate concern is survival production i'll need a lot of guns i know that and i'll need a lot of support equipment i will not need a lot of towed artillery well, it still needs to update but i i definitely know i will not need a lot of towed artillery um light tanks i'll keep making a few light tanks to replenish our losses air is too late as our are bombers uh no i do not need early submarines and i would very much like this heavy ship it might help us defend our shoreline but that's a lot of steel i'm gonna see if i can get this built into the baltic fleet but if steel cost end up being too much i'm just gonna abandon it and switch over to just convoys uh, what else do i want definitely want anti-air to compensate for our lack of air power absolutely need it actually need more support equipment there yeah this is far from ideal but have to work with what we've got uh, okay what is this uh sure uh mongolian expedition there for sure sure uh ooh, a thousand guns i'll take that anything else i can spend pp on oh industrial concern yes and that's about it let's check out your construct okay so you're building forts where oh no oh no 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 what the hell are you doing okay so cancel all of these um you know where you've been building your forts is is on the stalin line along the Dnieper river on the wrong side of the river you're supposed to defend the other side now you're 
which is gonna give the Germans and Bulgarians excellent defensive positions. Oh my friend, what are you doing? It's fine though, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna build a single fort and every tile along the river. They're not gonna do that much, but it might help. And then just start ramping up military factories, because I saw that you really don't have a lot of military factories. We need a lot more than what we've got. Okay, so... I think that is... Oh, wait. Espionage. A collaboration government in Germany. That's ambitious, my friend. <laughs> that, that is very ambitious. I'm not sure we'll last 135 days required. But uh, sure, sure. We'll, we'll try. We'll try. Oh, my God. Well, I've been here for 15 minutes. And we've done nothing but criticize the setup. Oh, while I'm talking about the setup. Air. Eh. Yeah, this is your starting air force, I think. I'm gonna get rid of it and re built it as we need it. All right, um, I'm gonna do my military reorganization off screen. Uh, otherwise, it's just it's, it's just gonna be a lot of boring clicking, you'll see. And I'll be back once I have reorganized the front line uh, to talk about why I do the things that I do. So I'll be back in a jiffy. Eventually. Okay, so I'm sort of done consolidating and drawing my front lines. So we've got one army group consisting of the better part of two armies to hold the north. They're pretty close to those positions. Uh, anything under Vitebsk all the way down to Crimea will be held by Army Group 1 under Semyon Budioni, mustache man here. Uh, so I force deployed everything in my queue that was ready to be deployed and just consolidated all those units into, well, divisions that are sort of at fighting strength. I mean, we will hold this position with some last stand orders if we have to. Uh, the rest of the army is railroading into these positions. Hopefully we can make it uh, and whatever is still stuck on the western side will have to do a retreat. I just hope these guys can actually extricate themselves. I've released Armenia and Georgia to the uh, south and the Caucasus here and I hope my army in Anatolia will be able to withdraw to the ports of Trabzon and Samsun, um, sail across to Sevastopol. I still control the seas here so I, I don't have to worry about the Bulgarian navy intercepting me, hopefully. And those 20 divisions uh, will be sent to this front here. If they arrive, I can shorten this line so the field marshal has to cover less ground, allowing me to stack more units per tile. This is going to be hard. I will be using a lot of last stand memes. I've also deployed all the tanks I had, consolidate them into a single fighting strength 40 with light tank division. Uh, all the other tanks are now railroading to this position as well. I will also be consolidating those into fighting strength units. As for the main army, I have consolidated a lot of these divisions into something that resembles a, a unit in fighting shape. As a result, I, I, I have a lot fewer divisions than I would like, but at least they are more than 1% equipped. Well, almost. A lot of these are still really, really under-equipped. As for the Far Eastern Front, I've abandoned this. We will not be fighting here. All these divisions, that's 24 divisions, 48 divisions, sorry. They are reasonably well-equipped and trained. I am railroading them into the north and the south. Once they arrive, I'll start distributing them along the line and I just hope we can last long enough to actually get them out the door in terms of production I've changed nothing uh, trade still needs to update so steel will be traded with the Americans now that side of our country should be relatively safe to trade across the sea German raiders don't tend to pop up here and we have if not friendly at least not overly hostile relationships with the Japanese so that should be fine the units in these pockets are lost there is nothing I can do for them. These are lost, so I've just assigned them to their own little army here. They will have to uh, fight to the death. Just delay the enemy for as long as possible. I've also reorganized whatever was left of our air force. Uh, I got a thousand fighters up. Might be able to get a few more out, but I'll be using those to intercept enemy casts. I'll not be trying to contest air superiority. I am way past the point of trying to fight the Germans in the air. Uh, I am just going to mass produce toad anti-air and hopefully, hopefully that will be uh, um, enough to at least blunt the edge of German air power. Oh, I'm going to also justify on Estonia, not to uh, annex them, but this will start uh, throwing ultimatum events at Estonia for the next, uh, what is it, 65 days. And on historical, Estonia should just give up. Um, that would give me a couple of extra factories. Yes, it gives me more of a shoreline, but my fleet is still able to hold naval superiority in this region. And I'll always just be able to 
put something on the ports there if I really have to. If I really have to, because I need I need guns before I can start deploying units. Anyway, this is going to be spicy, so bear with me. Um, I will be cutting a lot of the combat footage. Like I am entirely confident that at least two or three hours of this entire playthrough is just going to be me sitting here at speed three, micromanaging my defense, sending units in and out of combat, detaching units into separate armies to do last stands to keep this line intact. Um, I'll try to keep the most exciting bits in, which is going to be looking at red bubbles like this and then just being just in time to press the last stand button. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be mostly edited out until we can start the counterattack. I, I hope that's okay with you guys because it's it's really not that interesting to watch footage of me staring at this screen for about two or three hours. All right, let's go. Uh, one more thing I should probably change. I had a, a change of heart here. Um, assembly line productions all well and good, but I think I'll be better off researching maintenance companies. Maintenance companies will allow me to start stealing German equipment and I will be spending a lot of time just defending against endless German attacks and that might help me get out of this red here. Not to mention, uh, let's see if the Mongolians etc want to send me Lend-Lease. No, I don't want to start it, I want to request it. Uh, oh, they will not. Uh, maybe the game just needs to update and on that note I should also improve my relations with the US. UK and they might be able to send me some guns as well. I just hope I'll be able to extricate this army. It's a lot of divisions and I don't want to lose them. Yeah, the withdrawal here isn't uh, isn't going perfectly. Uh, these are hardly at fighting strength. Might as well just consolidate. Uh, same with these guys. Just consolidate. Yeah, the line is looking pretty thin, but the Eastern armies are on their way. If they arrive in time, we have a chance. That's a, it's a big if, though. That's a big if. At least the South is looking relatively plugged. If these guys can get enough organization in time. Hey, everybody, just get out of here. Just, just run. Okay, I'm seeing some green bubbles. Oh, never mind. That turned red. So, in cases like this, when it looks like we're gonna lose what I plan to do is I'll I'll show you quickly I'll take one of the divisions out usually the one that has the most equipment or organization left I'll assign it to a new army give it a commander somebody who's available Malinovsky here and then just hit last stand this way the last stand will only cost me 2.64 command power I'm not gonna do that just yet so I'm gonna go back into that army I'll do that later and uh, that is a lot cheaper than doing it for an entire army where it would cost me 60.72 command power so I can keep combat going that way for a very, very long time. Just buying time for my Eastern armies to arrive, for my industry to crap out more equipment and for me to deploy more troops to the front line. Every little bit helps. Uh, okay, the Anatolian armies look like they're mostly getting out intact. Not seeing a lot of Bulgarian naval raiding, so that's good. Just these two units are probably lost. Uh, I don't see these two getting out. Actually, in, in that case, I just I would be better off just disbanding them. That way, I at least recover the infantry equipment. The rest of the army can get out. And what I've also done for my initial PP spending is to give everyone... Where are we? These guys. Everyone who can get Ambusher has been assigned the Ambusher trait for my infantry leaders. This gives them more entrenchment and a bigger recon bonus while entrenched. But the entrenchment is the big one. Every point of entrenchment increases our chance of actually surviving. So in eight days, I'll dump these guys out as well. And we will research, where are we? Grand battle plan. So hopefully 53 days, we'll have that. That's another 10 entrenchment and more entrenchment speed. That is going to be incredibly valuable to survive this initial onslaught. Because if you survive the initial couple of brutal months of Axis pushing, you're pretty much in the clear. They will spend a lot of equipment trying to take you down while you only get stronger as time goes on. Though I, I say that, but deficit is not looking very nice. So yeah, this combat here, it looks like we'll be losing that. So I will pick one of these units, the strongest one. There we go. Fresh army, give him a new general. Malinovsky is not available now because I already used him for something. So I'll click this guy and we'll hit last stand 2.6 and good. And that means I can pull everyone else out of that combat. This guy will stay in combat until he is destroyed or until the timer runs out in seven days. This just buys time. It allows the combat to continue even if there's only 
only one division in that tile and nearby divisions can now walk in to reinforce other low strength units can walk out uh, recover some orc and walk back in it's a bit memey but we have to use every little edge we have it is hard enough as it is all right so the anatolian armies did manage to extricate themselves so that is 18 divisions i can assign to the southern bit here and that means i can shorten this line once those units arrive these guys are yeah they're they're not evacuating properly oh well and again, like you see a lot of these units um, at low strength. What I'm going to do for the most part is just trying to consolidate them into something that resembles a unit in fighting shape. Even if it does mean I have fewer units available, the ones that I have are actually combat capable because the lower the um, strength bar, the lower all of your unit stats are. Every stat drops along with the strength bar. So if this unit is at 86% fighting strength, that means it only gets 86% of the template's stats. That's roughly the calculations a little bit different but it's easy reference that way low strength units are useless virtually useless so i try to consolidate them as much as possible and i'll be spending a lot of time looking at these red bubbles all right everybody's left anatolia that's great at least that's safe we can always retake armenia and georgia later i just hope these guys can uh you know hurry hurry it up because those couple of divisions are gonna be vital i, I know it sounds stupid but those divisions will be vital in the long run and the pockets almost destroyed here as well oh well so all in all it does look like we've got a lot of units available even though yeah m many of these aren't uh what i'd call truly effective units they are taking up a tile so th there is that god i need a lot more equipment all right i was gonna ask the mongolians see if they will lend lease me guns now yes they'll send me guns now what i'm gonna do is ask mongolia every 30 days for guns they should have a lot available they've been producing them for what five years without really using them and once our relations with the uk are in the green i'll start asking them for guns as well i'm not gonna ask the americans they don't like us very much because apparently you generated a lot of world tension but not only that they tend to require a whole lot of convoys which we, we just don't have any right now we just don't have any available convoys oh steel i'm still not convinced that it's a good idea to build this battleship but eh might as well and there we go 4400 uh, mongolian guns on their way to us that is gonna help a little bit let's just hope uh let's just hope it arrives before we fall it does look like our meager air force is doing something to stave off the enemy cast it's something it helps the river line is keeping us alive uh there's gonna be some red bubbles all the time so we constantly need to micromanage those the rest of the front uh, yeah we'll have to see if the north here survives contact with the enemy because a lot of these divisions really are not in great shape oh uh, this is what i was talking about the u.s really wants to send you stuff you just cannot afford accepting it that is too many convoys mr roosevelt i i i, ca I cannot i cannot handle that many convoys okay so the anatolian army has arrived that's good and let's park it on the front here you can hold these four tiles if yes, they should be able to they really are not at optimal fighting strength so yeah this is gonna be my life for the next two or three hours micromanaging this defense and i see your red bubble go down i need to check what's going on who's fighting here and do i need to use the last stand order in 13 hours i will probably need to issue a last stand order here so that is what i'll be using my command power for for the foreseeable future when this is over we will have quite the veteran army assuming we can hold this line because if the dnieper line falls there's there's really no place to fall back to uh maybe the volga but Let's be real, the industry is on this side. Most of the victory points are on this side. Yeah, and the front only gets wider while we do not get more troops, so yeah. Let's just commit to defending this side of the river, shall we? All right, uh, let's force out the last couple of these divisions. Good, and we can shift away from mass assault into grand battle plan, spend the army experience, and hopefully, hopefully, it works out for us. There is gonna be a couple of positions that will constantly be red bubbles like here it's planes and can be attacked from two sides plus the enemy has armor there this combat is going to go on indefinitely um 
this tile here from experience, I know this will constantly be under attack because it can be attacked from one, two, three, four sides all the time. And even though it has a major river crossing there, it's it's going to be a nightmare to defend. So I'll constantly keep funneling troops in there. Uh, the tanks have also arrived in position. I'm going to consolidate these into combat capable units once again. And then I will just start driving them into red bubbles that are close by just to shore up the defense. After the combat's done, I'll allow them to retreat back to this position so I can constantly keep throwing them towards red bubbles in this sector uh, until, you know, the eastern armies actually arrive. Boy, do I want my eastern armies to actually arrive soon. This is pain. This is such pain. Oh, this, this tile, this tile. Will it hold? Will it hold? This division is fighting a last stand order. Do they have five days? Should be able to extricate the other units and they will be able to walk back in as soon as they've recovered a little bit of organization. Assuming this unit does not get destroyed. So that's that's going to be balancing on a knife's edge for well, m most of this playthrough. <laughs> okay, reserves are pouring in. I'll start assigning them to armies closer to to the front that is going to be wonderful the line is looking mighty thin right now well we've we've made it to july at least so let's see if we can make it through the summer oh this is gonna be tight this is gonna be tight oh will they make it will they make it one hour yeah they'll make it Oh, clutch. Coming in clutch. All right, assign that back to an army. Ooh, I hope that unit does not destroy itself. Oh my god. Oh, it got destroyed. No, it got pushed out. It got pushed out. Right, now the other units. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we managed to push him back out. Woo. One eternity later. Uh, it is now September of 1941 and my soul has left my body. I am just the withered husk of bitter steel trying to cling on to dear life along the Dnieper River. Uh, this one tile has been retaken twice by quick intervention with the armor. What little armor I have left. So far we're holding. It's barely stable. I've also started switching out some generals for better generals. Generals and I've started integrating. Uh, there we go. Uh, support artillery. So sorry. Support anti-air in some of my divisions. Uh, I think one of the southern armies has that upgrade, and one of the northern ones. I can't really remember which one. I think this one. Yeah. I've got two armies equipped with towed anti-air, and I keep making more of it every time I get a nice stockpile. I roll it out. We've got a lot of infantry equipment now. Um, the British and the Mongolians have been very generous as well as our industry has really been able to crank out a lot of these guns so much so that I've been able to take uh, factories away from infantry equipment and start assigning more and more to towed AA and support equipment. Uh, the plan for the support equipment is to get maintenance companies as soon as possible. Uh, once we get maintenance companies I want to roll this out to um, well I want to say everyone but I'll need a lot more support equipment for that. Anyway, September of 1941. So what, two or three months have passed in game? I think three-ish? I've been playing for hours. This has been me sitting here for what? two maybe three hours at, at speed two or three just looking at red bubbles micromanaging the defense hitting last stand orders and then uh letting the game run some more it has been an absolute ball like so far but we're holding we might just be able to save what has to be the most sabotaged game I've ever seen. I, I surely hope we can hold this. We'll keep it going for as long as we can. Sorry, <clears throat> I'm, I'm getting really tired. But the green bubbles are there. There's still some red, but it's it's mostly green now. I've also uh, assigned most of my Eastern army to reinforce the armies on the front line. So they reached the front and then I immediately assigned them to the front line armies and slowly but but surely they have managed to reinforce the lines. So most of these divisions are now equipped. Let's see. Yeah, we're at 97% equipment in the field. Uh, we even have some left over to train fresh divisions. If there's anywhere the line's gonna break, it's gonna be here. This is the most dangerous section of the front. Oh, that's gonna change the power balance. Oh, the United States is in. That is going to be very helpful. Then again, knowing the AI, they might just... Uh, which is ruin things. I just gotta throw out another last stand. Just need to find a general that's available. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Please. I, I want off Mr. Bones' wild ride. 
Oh, Yunnan joined. Yunnan still alive? As is Huangxi. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Nice. Oh, this is looking so much better. I actually feel a little comfortable now. I, I do need to keep... Um command power and reserve though i've been able to give most of my generals uh, the ambusher trait but i'm afraid to really spend all of it just because i need to be able to issue last stands at the drop of a hat here i see the line breaking split off a unit again uh give me general somebody who's available troikov nechibisov and last stand there we go anyway uh, i've already been at this for a couple of hours i suspect this will be a couple of hours longer it looks like everywhere else the line is secure except for these two provinces around kiev so i will have to uh, concentrate my entire defense around kiev so best reorganize my armor so they are really close by to either counterattack or reinforce other than that uh, should probably hold on to my command power for a bit longer but every time i have the opportunity and i have a little buffer i am gonna offer ambusher to um, all my generals at least the ones who can get it and yeah we will keep this going until we are ready for the counter attack i'll see you in a bit all right so we've researched maintenance companies these are going to be very very valuable assuming we can you know ever roll them out with our lack of support equipment oh boy that's gonna cost us another 3500 support equipment i'm tempted to just click this and see if we can steal it from the enemy man that's gonna be funny Seven thousand support equipment short oh boy i hope we can steal enough of this from the enemy yeah still most of the line is intact we're holding it's november i'm feeling confident here later all right so it looks like the italians are starting to establish a bit of naval dominance in the black sea that could be dangerous I, I don't want naval landings like the the line is stable now if enemy naval landings start happening i might be in trouble uh, so i'm gonna force deploy a couple units i had in reserve just to set up some port garrisons in the most critical areas so the black sea and maybe a couple up north here in the baltic though the baltic's still secure there's no enemy activity here i think once i've got these port garrisons established uh we should be pretty safe i i don't expect too many difficulties moving forward oh that looks like a problem for italy that's that's pretty good actually i should probably start reorganizing my army for the offense we have had a lot of time to to build up now let's uh let's get ready to strike back we want some of this glory we did a lot of heavy lifting let's draw an ambitious front line towards berlin it's not like we're gonna get there anytime soon but still never hurts to be ambitious all right my plan to sit here and build heavy tanks isn't gonna work i'm just gonna make light tanks it's it's not worth it uh the allies have already started their naval landings italy is gonna go uh, there's no point like i would have liked to build heavy tanks medium tanks I, I just don't have the time to build up the numbers just gonna get rid of my heavy tank production and i'll make uh light tanks make light tank divisions that is just the way it's gonna be uh um, so I wasted a bit of research there. It's fine. I'll just uh, research some light tank at the air and get going. This also looks like an excellent opportunity to start striking back at the Germans. See if we can start getting some pockets. And as expected, naval invasion. Italian naval invasion. Um, you could probably use those troops at home, Italy. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem. I've got the ports garrisoned. The divisions should be capable, should be capable of withstanding that naval invasion. If worst comes to worst, I'll rush my light tanks south again. I'm gonna make a breakout to the north, try and get an encirclement around Wilno. Uh, Minsk cut off that section of the line and we'll start slicing away at the German menace. We are gonna hurt them as much as we can. Did I lose Kiev? Was I not? We've lost Kiev ages ago, so why are you why are you telling me now? Oh yeah, like Bulgaria gave that to Germany, so now the game thinks I just lost Kiev. Get with the program game! Kiev's been gone. It's been gone for months. The downside of operations in this area is it's all forest. That's not exactly ideal to move armor around in. <laughs> Oh yeah, D-Day's begun, naval landings in France, Belgium, I, I think Germany might be able to contain those. This? Yeah, this is uh, the end of Italy. Hey, we've created our first pocket. We are starting the counterattack slowly but surely. I've also got uh, a couple of these light self-propelled anti-air into my tank divisions. 
I'm producing more tanks. I've got reserve troops here that I'm going to convert into tanks. And the Allies are mass invading the Axis territory. So this is definitely saved. But I just want to see if we can get to Berlin first. Uh, I have my doubts because, well, Germany is... Um, defending this area still quite heavily. Um, but every encirclement is a small victory. Who knows, we might actually end up uh, on top here. So we'll have to see and find out. I am very excited. I did not think we could save this. Let's just close this pocket and move on. Oh, they're gone. Great. Oh, naval invasions. Italy is still trying to naval invade. You know, Italy, I, I say you have bigger concerns in your own country, but okay. Oh, this is just horrible terrain to use my uh, armor in. I cannot make use of their speed in the marshes. Ah! I could always just dedicate my attention to the south, to the plains here. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. We've got this in the bag, boys. Yay! More pockets, pockets, pockets. Pockets are great. That's only four divisions, but... You know, all the damage we do to the Germans takes away their ability to defend themselves against all this mess the Allies are making in the West. And we will be the beast coming in from the East. We will make the Germans pay for what they've done to Mother Russia and her sons. If we can make the crossing, uh, we can make something happen here. Oh, logistics companies, blessedly. And them. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, this is... Okay, I, I take back what I said. Light tanks are great. They're just so fast. Good, 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 good. Big encirclement here. Well, big enough. Gonna try and aggressively close that. Have the infantry reposition to um, ensure we don't get completely cut off. Now we counterattack. We close this. Oh, the sons of Mother Russia will have their revenge. Yikes, that is a lot of Germans and... Uh, was it Bulgarians and Hungarians here? Yeah. This is a busy place. Uh, here I am just wantonly throwing away light tanks. Oh well, they're cheap. I just hope I can get somewhere before... Oh, Germany's actually holding. All right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes, 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 yes. They're falling. They're falling. Oh, oh, overrun galore. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Ah, I suddenly feel a lot better. Oh, that was, that was cathartic. After hours of sitting here suffering, that was cathartic. Wonder, what are the casualties looking like here? Mmm, that's a lot of Soviet casualties, but we have done quite well. In exchange, we've killed 3.2 million Germans. Ah, take that. Killed 24,000 Slovakians. Oh, poor Slovakia. Italians? We haven't really done that much to Bulgarians. Ooh. Yeah, that must have been that one big pocket we just destroyed. Almost a million casualties. 817,000. Quite a good amount of Hungarians as well. No fishy French though. I don't think we're actually at war. Oh no, we are. We are. Oh well. So we continue and we'll try to grab as much land as we can. Hopefully we can smash our way into Berlin, but it does look like the Allies are definitely getting the upper hand here. The Axes are on their way out. Oh well. Uh, I kind of want to take Kiev, but someone built level 7 forts on it. Uh, maybe if I push... N yeah, I can still push north of Kiev, I think. Though in reality, I sort of have the feeling that I'm wasting my time with these pockets. I could just set, set this army group to go and we'd just grind the Germans into dust at this point. Our supplies aren't that spectacular. Oh, we've done it. Oh, that's going to be good. Yes. Like, the German line is so thin at this point, I think I'm just gonna set my tanks and infantry to just start walking. I wanna get to Berlin before this is over. We've done enough damage to Germany's pride. Time to grind her into dust. Wonder how many divisions that is. That's gotta hurt, man. That's gotta hurt. I think that's whatever's left of the Bulgarian army as well. Of course, it doesn't help that Someone built level 7 forts there, but oh well, we'll get them eventually. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The overruns. The overruns. Yes. Oh, yes. Ah. Now just for Kiev proper and it's all over. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Germany. I have to admit, light tanks are incredibly fun. Once most of the enemy resistance is broken, <laughs> the speed at which they can move is just wow. Nothing quite compares. And am I gonna close this? Am I? Uh, I might get intercepted. No, no, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Ah, another massive, well, Pretty big pocket around Mosir. Yeah, the central marshes are now encircled as well. Time to mop that up. Oh, well, that's uh, it's unfortunate for you, Boris. Things aren't going your way, are they? 
don't know what it is about these pockets, but it's such a cathartic experience just wiping these enemy divisions off the map. And done! I'm gonna carve my way to Bulgaria, I think. Um, through Romania. Take this side out, and then I'll just let the line roll. I think Germany must be, must be running out of men by now. Uh, still 290 divisions at most. They've got 8 million casualties. Oh, Germany. Well, just look at these light tanks zip through. There's nothing that can stop these units. Um, gonna pin the Germans. I don't want them getting out. I want to keep you there as long as possible. And encirclement. Encirclement complete. Excellent. Time to mop that up. And we have retaken Odessa. The southern flank is secure. 17 Bulgarian divisions. Did it even have any divisions left after that? Eh, a few. Not that many though. Time to justify on Lithuania. Don't have to worry about extending my line too far now. Um, I could keep pushing south into Bulgaria though. There are more opportunities to the north, but the terrain is just so bad in this region. It's almost embarrassing the way I'm just dunking on the AI now. Okay, so people advocating for light tanks, I get it now. I get it. This speed, once you make a breakthrough, is like, it's insane. The amount of damage you can do just by being faster than the enemy. Ah, another pocket. It's just overwhelming the enemy's ability to really do anything about it. And every one of these pockets just destroys their capability of fending. Massive inroads into Germany. France is already liberated. Italy is barely clinging on. Yeah, the Axis are dead. And overrun! Yes! <sighs> so in a year's time, I think my counterattack started about a year ago. We've inflicted 4 million casualties on the Germans. We're just slicing them apart. Would it be too ambitious to try a breakout through Warsaw towards Danzig? I feel it might be too ambitious, but it would be too funny not to try. I uh, I do realize I am going to need some oil for this though. Ooh, I am running out of oil. I should just change my trade law. Uh, go back down to export focus. Yeah, that way I can keep some of my stuff. I'm going to drive these guys to Danzig. If this works, I am going to laugh. If it doesn't, well, that would be a very sad day for the Russian army. But the Russian army's had a lot of sad days already. So what's one more going to make? Ooh, that's a lot of resistance. I shouldn't be liberating these workers. And we've started our funny field trip to Warsaw and Danzig. Oh god, if they don't have anything here to stop me, that's just hilarious. Come on, man, you gotta have some reserves. Eh, liberation, air quotes. Just, oh my god. All right, Königsberg as well. Come on, we're getting to Danzig. Ah, I've made it to Danzig. If I get Mebel and Königsberg, this entire section is cut off. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna need to make the infantry move though to keep the enemy from getting out. Uh, Army Group North is just gonna start an offensive. It's actually gonna work. Oh my God, they have nothing on the ports. Yes. Oh, we've got their entire army in the north. Well, entire army. We got everything here encircled. Oh, that is just insane. I'll let the infantry clean that up and I'll actually start an offensive towards Berlin with my tanks. They don't have anything left to stop me. Come on, come on, come on. Make this work. Please just make this work. It is too funny. All right, all right, Germans are mounting some sort of defense. Not gonna let them, I want Berlin. Let's get the tanks in position, draw up the front lines. I want to get to Berlin first. The Allies will not have that honor. I bled for this, Russians bled for this. British aren't just gonna steal our thunder. Time for a general offensive. This will be costly, but it will be glorious. There is nothing they can do to stop us now. Oh no, there isn't. And yes, I know these infantry offensives are incredibly costly and inefficient, but manpower is something the Soviet Union has to spare. And we have to put the fascist dogs down. They have to learn their place. Time to drive to Berlin. Go on, son. Go on. No, you're so close. Come on, Ivan. Ivan, do it. Ivan's done it. We have taken Berlin. We'll bring the Reich to its knees. Actually, in 11 days, they, they will. No, not 11 days. 121 days. We're not going to get that collaboration government done in time, but we are doing well. We're doing well. The fall of Berlin, the fascist lair is ours. Ah, a Yalta. Do we want to Yalta? Hmm. Might as well make some nice borders. 12 seconds later. And that's it. 
It is over. We have won the impossible, the horribly sabotaged save game. Victory is ours. The Soviet Union stands triumphant. And for some reason, the Americans have more war score than us, even though we did pretty much everything. Well, not everything. The Americans did do some naval landings, but still. And with that, we're done. We've created a reasonably acceptable version of Europe. So we've got a uh, thick Austria. Yeah, yeah. We've got our uh, set of puppets in East Germany, the Czechoslovak Union, the Balkan the Socialist Union, and of course the Socialist Republic of, what is this, Bulgaria? So let's check the faction out. So a nice, a thick common turn versus a threateningly large allies. This is a good setup if you ever want to... Oh, never mind. This is a good setup if you ever want to play um, a Cold War scenario, I suppose. So yeah, I'm a little surprised. Oh my god, France. What? <laughs> we got France, France, and Ossetania. Oh, they always do this, don't they? Oh, and then the UK decided to take Savoy. You know what? Let's, let's stop looking at that part of the map. Let's just go back to our nice big Soviet Union. So yeah, um, this was probably one of the hardest save games that was ever sent in to me. Whoever sent this in, please, if you're watching this, let me know. Did you sabotage this or was this an honest mistake? I really have to know. All of those things combined made this an absolutely horrible, horrible save game. The only reason we survived is because I managed to get troops to the Dnieper line in time and micromanaged the hell out of the defenses for like two or three hours. So thank you for stealing that part of my soul and innocence away. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload more content. If you are enjoying these save games, please, please hit that like button, 1000 likes and we move on to the next video. If not, well, figure something out. If you didn't like it, that's fine. Hit that dislike button and tell me what I did wrong in the comments. I am always looking to improve. And if you want to support the channel and help me do what I do, consider checking out the YouTube membership. It's that join button down there next to the subscribe button that takes you to the membership page. It has all the information you need. Anyway, this has been me, Bitter Steel. Have a good one.